Tensions have escalated between Russia and the United Kingdom on the seas off the coast of Crimea. More than 20 Russian aircraft and two Coast Guard ships have been shadowing a British warship, HMS Defender, sailing some 12 miles off the coastline. Russia annexed Crimea from Ukraine. That was back in 2014. But this annexation has not been recognised internationally. The Russians are accusing the Royal Navy of violating their territorial waters. The British say that they are, in fact, in Ukrainian waters. Now, the only broadcast journalist on board HMS Defender is the BBC's defence correspondent, Jonathan Beale. And he's been describing the hostile warnings from Russia as Defender's crew were preparing for a possible confrontation. <laughs> This is not a drill. Come in, take your seat straight away. We're composing this up to him. A British warship in the Black Sea about to make a point to Russia. So we're uh, straight into the thick of it. We're uh, going to action stations now, um, just to get bring us up to a higher state of readiness. Well, HMS Defender has just left the port of Odessa, and as you can see, just over there. We're already being shadowed by a Russian warship. We have two suspect aircraft coming in. They're soon there. tracking Russian military aircraft, who are also tracking them. It is a slightly more increased threat, I'd say, just because we're operating outside of our normal areas. And you're being watched by the Russians? Uh, they can see us, we can see them. As we get close to Crimea, the tension rises. HMS Defender is going to sail within what Russia now claims is its territorial waters, but following a legally recognized shipping lane. Do you say there's a flashpoint potentially here in terms of how the Russians will behave? That there's a, there's a contentious point. Their posture will likely be more belligerent because uh, of, of our proximity to what they recognize as, uh, as, um, as their waters. I mean, they will view you as belligerent going so close to Crimea, won't they? They might, they might take that view. As HMS Defender comes within 12 miles of the coast, the Russian Coast Guard make a dangerous move. This Russian Coast Guard vessel has come up right close to this British warship and is trying now to force it to change course. Nothing on the bridge, absolutely. Noise sorry. on the bridge. If you across the border line, I'll be fired. If you don't change the course, I'll be fired. Do you hit me over? The crew don protective clothing in case that threat's followed through. Shots are fired, but they're well out of range. Aircraft visual, green 150, tracking right, altitude low. Throughout the transit, HMS Defender detects at least 20 Russian military aircraft nearby. Some far too close for comfort. The Russian Defence Ministry released their own footage of their jets flying overhead, including imagery of what appears to be the British destroyer in their sights. Remember, this is not just about military brinkmanship, it's also about who can win the information war. The UK and the Royal Navy, our deployment is here to maintain international order um, and uphold that for the global peace and security and the Royal Navy and the UK will always call out um, states that do not follow uh, international order. That's our mission. Was it poking the bear? Confident, non-confrontational. Last year, Russia claimed to have chased another Royal Navy warship out of the Black Sea. But clearly, Britain's not been deterred. This is evidence that the UK is willing to challenge Russia to uphold international law. But it is a high-risk strategy. Jonathan Beale, BBC News, on board HMS Defender. With me, watching the report, our diplomatic correspondent, James Landale. Um, James, for everyone watching, wondering what potential there is here for a situation to get uh, out of control, basically, what would you say? Look, whenever you have more ships and more planes in close proximity, there is danger. Um, there is a risk of error, uh, miscalculation, escalation. Uh, incidents like this are not unprecedented, but I think today's was more acute than normal, and it was certainly more tense than normal. So, you know, th there is always risk. But I think you should also remember that both sides were pretty ready for this. 
uh, Defender was at action stations. The Russians had lots of planes and ships in the region. Um, and it was clearly a deliberate decision. Defender could have taken the southern, a greater southerly route away from Crimea. It chose not to, to assert its right to freedom of navigation in what the UK considers to be international waters. I'm told that's a decision, by the way, taken at the highest level of the British government. This was not a casual uh, decision made at all. As one source said to me, Defender was there to not pick a fight, but to make a point. So the UK has tested Russian's resolve. It has shown its support for Ukraine. Russia has mounted a robust defence of what it says is its sovereignty. It accused the UK of blatant provocation, summoned the British ambassador. Um, so UK-US relations tonight, already cold, poisoning, uh, etc., has got a little bit colder. But I think both sides will feel tonight that they've made their point. James, thanks again. James Landale, our diplomatic correspondent.